Hey everybody, Dan here with Pain Free You. Alright, so today's topic is going to be confirm or counter. So that'll make sense in a minute, but uh, just going to take a couple of nice deep breaths and enjoy the outdoors here. Overcast, gray, cold, typical winter day. Pretty quiet though. And the air is nice and crisp and fresh. Feels good actually. Been inside all day. All right. So, confirm or counter? And what I'm talking about is our subconscious brain is always evaluating what's going on. And it's coming to conclusions about whether or not you're in danger or whether or not you're okay. And so, when we notice symptoms, when symptoms start to jump a little bit, we have two choices. We can either confirm the brain's perception that something dangerous is going on. And what that looks like is typically getting upset, frustrated, angry, scared, fearful, catastrophic thinking, worrying about something the doctors may have missed. And in that case, you are confirming the subconscious brain's interpretation that something bad is going on. Or we can counter the brain's opinion with some different facts. Okay? It's where we get into calm reassurance, indifference, like, okay, not terribly concerned about this, so brain, you shouldn't be either. So understand that symptoms, no matter what they are, are always controlled, in my opinion, in my experience, by the subconscious brain. We do not have conscious control over our symptoms. So the only thing we can do is influence the brain to make a better decision by either countering the opinion that we're in danger as opposed to confirming that we're in danger. Now it works on the positive side too. If you're feeling pretty good, you can counter that by saying, yeah, but what if it comes back? I'm so nervous, I'm so anxious. Oh no, uh, you know, there really might be something wrong. I, I feel good now, but now you're countering the brain's interpretation that nothing bad's going on. Or you can confirm when you're feeling good, you can be like, yeah, darn it, I am doing good. That's because there is nothing wrong. So just understand that on a moment by moment basis, your brain is always evaluating kind of what's going on. Is there any danger? That's why I kind of uh, suggest that we have awareness of our physical state. And if we're tight and tense and breathing shallow, the brain has no choice but to assume that that means you are uh, in some type of danger because tension and tightness and breathing shallow usually is as a result of some element of fear so really important to decide whether or not you're going to confirm your brain's perception that something bad's going on by going down the fear path or counter it calmly confidently and say hey brain shh we're actually okay. How do I know that? Because I've done my research. I've, you know, I've done my homework. I understand pain science. I understand how TMS, perceived danger, mind-body symptoms work. There's a lot of pain science out there that basically confirms that the pain's coming from the brain. And everything I've seen says it's coming from the brain because the brain's perceiving danger. So it's up to us to correct the bad data, misinformation, give the brain better information so it can make a better decision. So, are you going to confirm or counter the brain's opinion of what's going on? If you're feeling good, confirm it. If you're feeling bad, counter it. It's pretty simple. We don't want to let the brain come up with a decision that says something bad's going on, here's some pain, and have that just be left alone. 
some people say, well, yeah, I know it's TMS, so I just I go about my day. I try not to react to it. Okay, but you're not really doing anything proactive to counter the brain's perception that something bad is going on. We really do need to take a conscious, proactive approach towards teaching the brain that nothing bad's happening. And the best way to do that is to remain calm. But really alongside of that, you might remain calm, but if you're not doing anything proactive to change the, the brain's perception of what's happening, it may not be enough to just remain calm. You really do want to start changing the script inside of the brain by saying, brain, no, time out. Nothing bad's happening. Do it with a smile. Know that you're all right counter the brain's perception of danger with accurate data that says I'm actually okay. And if you're feeling good, confirm that. This is awesome. My brain knows I'm safe because I actually am safe. So I hope that makes sense. Counter or confirm. You know, just give that some thought and see how you typically respond to your symptoms. Do you just kind of Oh, here we go again. Get frustrated, angry, and sad. And do nothing proactively to counteract the brain's perception. Uh, or are you getting into the calm reassurance and, you know, making sure that uh, the brain gets the right message consistently. So, I'm going to wrap this one up. Love you guys and gals. I'm going to sit out here for a couple more minutes. There's no sunshine, but uh, it still feels nice sitting out here. Take care, everybody. Love you. Bye.